天使特别的。It is a great thing to serve the Lord, walking in the light of God. Michelle! Yes, mommy? What are you still doing? Watching Moses' movie. When you have lots of dishes to wash, N no, you clean up in the kitchen? Yeah, I wash the plates and I clean up the kitchen. Oh, good girl, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Esther! Can you come drop these things in the kitchen? Back, back for me, please. Thank you. Oh, my wonderful children. So, you're watching Moses' film? Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. Very good. These are the kind of movies. I want your children to watch okay. Christian movies, movies that will educate you about God, movies that will, that will draw your heart closer to God. watching Christian film to teach you things about God. So when will you be pushing your sister up and down? Don't do that again, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Now say sorry to her. Sorry, Esther. Sorry, Esther. Good. God bless you. Michelle, put yes, off the put off the movie. 
It's time to read our Bible. We are going upstairs to read our Bible now. Time for the Word of God now. Now I'm going to read my Bible. Misha, John, Simon, Esther. It's time for you guys to read your Bible. You meet me upstairs, okay? Uh -huh. For us to pray, okay? Yeah. God bless you. Me. 
had enough. Upstairs, everybody. Move, 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 move. Go. Shut up. Yeah, I'm your big sister. Do not say shut up to me. Do you hear me? Well, what is going on? I was hearing the voice from downstairs. Hey, 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 Each other. I want us to study the word of God. Oh, let's open our Bible. Let's pray first. Let's pray for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to attack us when we are sleeping. And as we are going to touch this prayer, be with us and protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I think uh, the way you children are behaving is getting too much. When you guys were coming upstairs, I was hearing your voice, argument and Always, I teach you children not to be shouting at each other. Well, what I was exactly now, stop. Yeah. stop! Stop now! This is not an attitude of a child of God. But Michelle, when the one that was talking to It's you. okay now. Quiet. Allow me to talk. I didn't ask anybody, any of you to judge, to say anything. I'm just trying to, to, to talk to you. That is not an attitude of a child of God. The Lord, the Lord will save you children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now open your Bible to the book of Colossians chapter 3. Because of our time, because I want you children to go to bed, we are not going to go. We are not going to do much. Sorry, mommy. Colossians what? Chapter three. That's because you're difficult here. Chapter three. That's because you're difficult here. I 
I don't want to hear any of you saying anything again. Don't use that language, Dev. Okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. We are children of God. Don't be using your mouth to say filthy words, filthy languages. Let it not come out of your mouth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I don't want you people. I don't want you children arguing on one another. Michelle is your big sister, and you must respect her. And I don't want your face. I don't want you. I don't want you to frown your face again. Stop frowning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are reading Colossians chapter three. I'm not going to read it down. I'm, I'm picking. I'm picking them to, to to talk to you guys because of the way you you, you children behaves at times. You see, godly children must must put on the life of Jesus Christ. Must have godly character, godly behavior. That is why you, you are called godly children. That is why we are we are Christians. Do you know unbelievers that they shout at each other, they use their mouth to say all kind of filthy languages. But for you as children of God, you don't use your mouth to say filthy things, filthy words. Put it all from you. It is not of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, I read. If then you were risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Amen. The Bible, the word of God is telling us here, you and me, godly children. The, book, the Word of God is telling us, my children, I, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself, that we as children of God, we must do things like the children of God. The Bible tells us in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 that if then you were risen with Christ, seek those things above, which are above. So, if if you say you are born again, if you say you are godly children in Christ, if you say you have given your life to Jesus, you must seek things that are above. You must you must seek for things that are up there in heaven. How do you seek things above? Your mind must always be fixed on heaven. You must always think about heaven, how you will make heaven. And if you are thinking of if you are thinking of heaven, you must be you must you must do what the Bible says. You must do what the Bible says. Not to be getting angry at each other. Children. I don't want to see this character anymore among you. Let's go to the let's go to verse 8 of it. Uh, sorry, let me explain the verse 2. I read 2. Verse 2 says, Set your mind on things above, not on things on, on the earth. So, 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 when you set your things, when you set your heart on things above, you will not be carried away anymore with the things of this world. The things of this world will take us nowhere. They are of the world. We are heavenly candidates. Amen? Mm -hmm. Verse 3 says, For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, verse 4 now, when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Children. We are 
Lord Esther. It's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you to put His word into practice. It's okay. I always tell you, children, to always ask the Lord for mercy. Stop, stop this type of character. And besides, you are in the presence of God. When you are in the presence of God, you must settle down properly. Sit down. Relax. Because you are in the presence of the King of Kings, our Lord Jesus Christ. Now sit up. I want everybody to sit up. Now! Sit up! John, sit up. Now! You, you children are distracting me and that is not good. You are distracting me. I don't want anybody to fight again, please. I don't want anybody to fight again or say anything again until we finish this Bible study now. Okay? So, the Bible says in verse 3 of the book of Colossians chapter 3, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When you say you are born again, that means, when, when you are born again, that means you are dead to you sin. Can't stop it. You cannot sin again. Mommy, John is too dead. I warned you, children, don't distract me. Quiet. So, Mommy, Esther's always putting her hand up. She won't let you speak. And so, and John, you just know what. What kind of what kind of distraction is this? I don't like this place. Yes. What what when you were in the middle of reading the Bible, they were they were they were not looking at the Bible. Yes, we were. We were reading our Bible. How? I mean, there's no point of just reading the Bible or teaching. They need to change. These two boys, they're they they have gone overload. They need to change. The Bible says, by flesh shall no man prevail. The, the Lord will help them to change. It's a gradual process. I, God will help them. You see, talking with mouth will not, will not solve the problem. We talk and we pray, okay? When, when we talk, we teach, we pray. It, it's God that answers prayers. We cannot change anybody by force, okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said everybody should sit up. Now, I'm going to sit up. So, I go to verse 8, my beloved children. He says, but now you, but now you yourselves are to put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language, out of your mouth. Simon, stop playing. I'll just turn it around. 
Why why will you be doing that in the presence of God? Stop. Or think we are here alone? Now quiet! Quiet! You see, mommy, that is what I was talking about. It's okay. It's okay. I will undo them, okay? Don't worry. Well, I think they need deliverance. Shut up, Michelle. Fine. You yeah, need deliverance. Shut up, Michelle. You do need deliverance. Quiet this time. Yes, I think so. You boys need you you need deliverance. Mm -hmm. Because I Quiet, I, Michelle. If I hear that again, I will give somebody a dirty slap. I'll slap your hand. Okay? I hear you say anything again. I don't want to hear anything again. I just read uh, I just read the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 8. Now, are you are you children? You, 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 you before I could even finish reading it, you are started again. Now, if I ask you, if I ask the both of you what I'm saying, will you be able to explain to me? Can you explain to me what I've just read? The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 8. Yes. yes. Now tell me. You're not supposed to put that in language in your mouth. So what are you doing? It's not just to read the Bible. You are to be the doer of the word. You are to live by the word of God. Practice it. Not just to talk, 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 you say it. You can know, you can have, you can memorize Genesis to Revelation. You have them off your head, off heart. If you don't practice it, you will go nowhere. The Lord will not be happy with you. Our Lord is interested in people that, that study the word of God and practice them. And those are the... Stop chewing your tongue now. Stop! <laughs> He's making me laugh. Stop laughing now! Stop laughing and Who's laughing with you anyway? Yeah, who's laughing with you? You're the one that's making me Keep quiet, comments. please. Mommy is not your mate. Listen to her and stop chewing your tongue. And that is a very dirty habit, eh? Dirty habit. The Lord will have mercy on you in Jesus' name. Amen. So. It's not just for us to say putting on, putting off dirty languages. You children must stop getting angry, stop all these kind of behaviors. You must stop them if you want to make heaven. If any of this is in your life, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So let's try our best to put off all these things. The Lord will help us. No, I'm trying to put all this carrot egg, but still coming. Me too. Yes. Uh, that, that is why the Bible says we, we, we should work out our salvation with trembling and with fear. Okay? No. All, all these things will not, it will not happen once. Yes, it, but it's a gradual process, okay? It's gradually. But you must try very hard. When our Lord Jesus Christ see how hard you are trying, He will help you. He don't think He's not seeing you. He's seeing you. He's looking at you. He's looking at you. But one day, everything have an expiring date, expiring time. One day, as you keep praying, keep believing Him, as you keep praying, keep believing Him, the Lord will show up. The Lord will show up. The Lord showed up in the midst of storm, according to the book of Matthew chapter 8. When, when the Lord was in the, in the boat with the disciples, when the storm arose, our Lord was sleeping. The disciples were afraid. Our Lord got up and he rebuked the storm. And there was a great calm. So... Don't worry, keep believing the Lord, keep trusting Him. A day will come when the Lord will hear your voice, the Lord will hear your cry, and the Lord will rebuke the storm of your life. The Lord will cast out all these, all these characters that does not please Him. But you must try your best. You must do your best to make sure 
You must do your best. Now, we are going to pray, okay? Get up, everyone. Now, stand up. Stand up. Now, we are going to pray. Those of you that we are saying you need deliverance, now you are going to deliver yourself. Okay? You are going to pray until that deliverance takes place. Now you are going to pray. You, you are going to say, You spirit of rebellion and stubbornness! You spirit of rebellion and stubbornness! Come out of my life now! Come out of my life now! And enter no more! And enter no more! In the name of the Okay, deliverance is in different form. The Lord knows how to deliver His people. Okay, he, he, some people can fall down. Uh, I see. Uh, some people can fall down and be rolling on the floor, and why they are not delivered? Okay, if if you put your heart in the prayer that you are praying, the Lord can the the Lord can the Lord 
we use it to deliver you. But if you are praying, your heart is not there. Deliverance will not come. You, your heart must be in the prayers you are praying. You must be focused. And that is why you must close your eyes. You close your eyes and focus on, uh, focus, focus on heaven. Focus on Jesus Christ who died for your deliverance. Who is able to deliver you? Okay, don't distract us again. Mommy, in school, our friends will attack us. We have to defend ourselves. The Bible says vengeance is of the Lord. Run away from them. You must not avenge yourself. Run away from them. Anybody attack you in the school, what did you do? Even if they come to you, they give you dirty slap. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, son the other side. You must not fight. Don't so avenge me, yourself. God knows how, God knows how to like avenge this, you so for when you. They slap you like when they slap you, you know the slap hurt you. You run away. Okay? <laughs> you must not wait to turn the other ear for them to block your ear for you. <laughs> run away. You run away, but you don't fight. You don't revenge. Get up, my friend! This is not funny. We are not joking here. When somebody slap you in this in, in school, you you just walk away. Try try your best not to revenge because the Lord does not like it. God knows how to pay them. God knows how to fight for us. Okay. Now, children, it's time for us to go to bed. Okay. So I don't really like the way people want to cut off the prayers that we are praying. Okay. Because when we are praying, the Lord is listening. So please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, we ask, oh Lord, any sin in our lives that will hinder our prayers, oh Lord, we ask for your mercy. Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, cleanse us with the cleanse us with the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for the remission of our sins. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, we ask that you release the blood of Jesus Christ upon our spirit, soul, and body as we go to bed in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. Fight our battle. Pursue every pursuance of our dream. Pursue every pursuance of our of our vision. Destroy every pursuance of our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that resurrected Jesus Christ from the uh, 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 from, uh, uh, from the grave, I decree that the weapons of the enemy shall not prosper in your lives in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. You children are born for signs and wonders. You children are born to declare the name of Jesus Christ. To carry the banner of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power assigned to abort your destiny. Every power assigned to abort the plan of God. The purpose of God for your life. I lift up the standard of the blood of Jesus Christ against them. Let the standard of the blood of Jesus Christ destroy them in Jesus name. We overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father because it is done. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace that you go to bed. Let's go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, the Lord's goodness and mercy is following us all, all the days of our lives. We all shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good night, children. Good night. I commit your spiritual and body into the hands of the Almighty God. For the Lord, for the Lord has redeemed you. In the name of Jesus. Time of night talk with you. Yes. Uh, the, the word that we heard today really touched me. I think we should change our habits now because 
with this habit we have, we are not going to enter the the, the world of paradise. Me too. I think that. Should we I'm hug? S I'm sorry for everything I do. See. Me too, Simon. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You're my best brother. Me too. I forgive you. To forgive me of everything I've done to you. I have for already lying. forgive you. Me too. I've already forgive you. Yeah.